Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video, I will give you the first part of the strings tutorial. So as you can see over here, I have figured it out somewhere around 19 topics related to the strings. And uh, before I go into all of these topics, strings or the characters is something that you will encounter everywhere, especially in machine learning. For example, if you are doing anything related to the text analytics, or if you have the um, variable names within the field and you want to clean you want to capitalize or you want to you know change it as per the needs of the analysis you will encounter that one or the other functions or the properties or the methods which i will share here with you uh, is something uh, useful in that program so things like trimming a string length of a string accessing specific part of the string how the strings are really indexed all of these things are basically uh, building blocks or the basic blocks for processing strings within the python and in this series which is probably a two or three part of the series as per the length uh, i'm planning that uh, Within 15 minutes, I should cover uh, the number of topics and then another one is another 15 minutes so that it is easily digestible and uh, use it from a usability perspective also, you can find the topics in one or the other video. But if you have anything else from the perspective of uh, string processing or you have questions or you think any of the topic I have not included here and you want to include, then let me know in the comments and I will try my best to create an example of that and give you the strings that string related tutorial that you are looking for. All right. So first of all, let's start with the, the string. So a string is nothing but the, you know, a collected number of characters. So for example, this is a string, right? If I press shift enter, nothing will happen. But what we have done is created a string or what you can do is you can do like this this is a string whatever your uh, criteria is whether you want double quotes or you want single quotes it's not an issue you can just go ahead and uh, use it generally if you see this is a string this is basically giving you the output as compared to this because it is probably not in the code block so how you can check it you can go into the cells cell type and change it to code or sometimes you will see that this toggle toolbar over here this toolbar is present and this is this block is marked as markdown so we can change it to the code and now we can get the output so there is no difference between this and this it's just that how uh, you want to represent uh, whether using the single quotes or using the double quotes you can do that so sometimes you will see that in the interview questions, uh, you will find the questions like uh, what are string, then this becomes a tricky question and you can answer with the help of this example and they can always try to confuse you where uh, whether you can specify the string with the single quotes or the double quotes and the answer is technically there is no difference. You can have single quotes or you can have double quotes within the Python. All right, so after this, let's see the second topic which is how strings are indexed right and before that i will just uh, give you one more information related to the first part which is uh, specifying the string or storing the string which is let's say uh, s1 equals to this is a string right so now s1 basically contains this string okay and this is a simple variable you can also have a list of variables so for example l1 s1 or maybe s2 equals to within the list this is a string and put a comma afterwards comma this is second string comma this is third string if you press enter and if you press s2 it will print all the three ones so what we are doing over here is basically storing multiple string within the one single object and then we can iterate over it 
and get do the processing based on whether we want to process first string second string or the third string so if uh, i i'm hoping that you have seen my previous videos where i have talked about the lists and all as well as dictionaries so you can think about that string can be in any form like a normal variable normal list like this or a dictionary where you have the key value pair for example you may have uh, for example name of the countries and uh, their relative value so name of the country is basically the string which may be either key or value so you can have in any of the form like a normal variable list like this or a dictionary which i just spoke about and if you are not sure i will just suggest that you look the dictionary related specific uh, video where i have explained about this all right um next is how strings are indexed so let's look at it here okay let me go to the axel and here is my name abhishek and i have converted this into alphabets which is present in each each cell so what i'll also do is i will just uh, align them centrally so now they are below to each other so a is basically starting from zero that is index zero b is index one h is index two and so on and so forth so if we have to access a specific part of the string let's say for example i want to access the first part of the string because let's say you are trying to fetch the nicknames and you just got to know that if you extract the first four letters most possibly those are the nicknames of the uh, of the people so what you can do is come over here and what i'll write is one variable my name and under that i will put my name over here and then i say my underscore name and i need four character right so one two three and four so what i'll do is zero two three right because zero one two three is containing four characters but this will not result or this will not give us the output which we are expecting and let's see this so it is only giving us a b and h but not the i right Be even after specifying three over here so what is going on basically and this is again a very tricky interview related exam so or interview related question so i will keep on explaining you these interview questions so keep seeing this so what is going on over here is that the first part of this range that we are specifying is inclusive that means it will consider it but the last part is exclusive right so if i want i over here i will keep four even though four indicates s over here but it will not include it because of the list property of or the range property of uh, of the python based on how it extracts the data so if i go ahead and press shift enter and now it will give me the my current my uh, ex required extraction of the first four characters right similarly if i want the last character again uh, i interview question that how you will access the last character or the last set of characters so for example my underscore minus one so i should write my underscore name and what it gives me the last character and if you have other needs or other operations like you want a series of operators say for example from k to s or from i to a you can perform all those operations as per your needs so for example my underscore name and let's say minus four colon minus one and what i get is from here s h e and as you know it does not include it the last character that's why it has given me just the three characters apart from this there are a couple of other ways so for example say for example from minus four you want up until the end so minus four minus four and colon and you can my underscore name i keep forgetting that my underscore name so it gives me up until the end s h e k so colon afterwards indicate so the first one indicates the starting position the last last one after the colon indicates the ending position as you are aware and if you are not specifying then this way it is saying that up until the 
end similarly if you have like my underscore name colon so we are not specifying the first part and we are saying five what you get is right from the start a b h i s okay so that's about the different ways by which you can slice and dice and that is completely based on how the strings are indexed another thing is uh, s2 like we have specified it over here and i say s2 one what it gives me the entire string that this is a second string because here also index starts from zero after the comma one after the comma two so if i want the first string i will say s2 zero and this is a string this is nothing but the simple list operation and similarly there are directory the dictionary related operations another question which may come into our mind and again an interview question is how would you extract the for example this part the first four characters from this is string right because this is not just a simple name where you can go ahead and specify colon this is an entire string and part of the list well the answer is easy what you need to do is after the s2 what you keep on going and over here zero till five and what you will get is this and in this case you get four because this is part of the list so this way you can extract the first four characters over here zero one two three and fourth is basically the last character which is space and that is not included as you know uh, as i've shown you earlier so this is how you can extract first of all the first part of the list by specifying zero and in another bracket you can specify for how long you or what part of the string you want to specify also a very very tricky questions for the beginners who are going into the uh, into the nlp related or text analytics related because this is what you will do day in day out all right let's move on and the next topic that i have is basically accessing specific part of the string i already uh, explained reversing a string okay so reversing a string is pretty easy so i will first of all tell you the quick method so for example i have this is what you called my underscore name and i want to reverse it so my underscore name colon colon minus one <laughs> What I'll do is, and when I press enter, it just reverses my name. That is it. So, so many times comes into the interview, and uh, this is what basically the answer is. But what is going on here? Well, it is a concept called striding. That means how you want to move ahead into the string. So, for example, my underscore name one. So my underscore name, which is uh, one two three zero one two three four five six and seven. So from zero to eight colon two. Let's enter this. So what it gives me basically a h s e. So what it is going on over here is a then move to the second one h then move to the second one s and then e. Because two is something what we have we have specified, so it is striding it by two characters from the first character a h s e. If you specify three, it will just give a i e because a one two three i one two three e, and this is how basically you can extract the regular occurrence of a character. But once you don't specify anything, let's say my underscore name. So colon and colon 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 and before the first uh, before the colon and after the colon, what it is basically saying that we want entire string and another colon is specifying that what you want and minus one as you know from my previous uh, uh, just few minutes before I explained that minus one indicates you want the reverse order. For example, if I go back here. Minus one, which is giving me the last character. So this is indicating that we want entire string. The first colon is indicating we want entire string, and second colon is saying that we went we want it from the 
last character so once i press shift enter it gives me the reverse of my name and that is what it is going on over here so so far in this video we have covered the three most important topic three or four different most important topic and i will just pause it here and post it and i will meet you in the next video and where i will discuss the rest of the video but keep seeing it because you will see a lot of interview related questions and indications over there